Hey everyone. So I wanted to come on and do the success success series video for this week now. I mean, I usually do them Tuesday nights or Wednesday afternoons, but just felt called to do it now. And I'm not sure what the next couple of days will look like, so we'll see. Uh, so I wanted to do part five. We're on part five now, which is asking for help. Hey Mo, um, I'll quickly just do a quick recap. So part one was why, like right, find your why, why are you doing, why are you doing what you're doing. Uh, part two is showing up, right? So once you know why you're doing it, then you gotta show up and start doing something. Part three was don't be so hard on yourself. And part four last week was about feedback and evaluation, right? Once you start doing things, it's important to uh, evaluate yourself, ask for feedback from your peers and that kind of thing to see where you can improve. And so today is going to build on, on last week's and I mean the whole series. So once you ask for feedback or you evaluate yourself or whatnot, then um, logically the next thing to do would be to ask for help or find someone that can show you how to do things better, more efficient or whatnot, right? And I mean, it sounds like so simple, but like asking for help is, is really, really hard for some people. And I'm one of those people. I would rather like bang my head against the desk for like two weeks before I ask somebody for help. Right. Like I would rather I would rather fail at whatever I'm doing than ask somebody for help. Because the way I was brought up. Is that like when you're asking for help is that you're saying I'm saying that I'm not good enough to do it on my on my own. I'm not smart enough. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not right. And, and so that's, that's why I would rather fail than ask for help because to me, it's, it's asking for help is a sign of weakness. When in reality, it's, 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 it's the opposite, right? Only someone that's only someone that's strong and confident in their abilities is willing to say, Hey, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to move forward. Can you help me? Can you show me? Cause you have to be, you have to be really strong to, to be vulnerable like that, right? Not, not anybody can do it. So I know there's a lot of other people out there that are like me. I know I'm not the only one. And so this video is for you guys, right? So, I mean, asking for help can look, um, depending on what you're working on, it can, it can come in like many different forms, right? So if, if you're an employee, like asking your boss, like, hey, like I know you want me to do this, I'm not really sure how or how to meet your standards. Can, can you show me, right? If you're a soccer player uh, asking your coach, like, Hey, like I, I need help learning how to do this. I need learn. I need help learning to do this. Like, I don't quite get what you want me to do on the field. Can you show me, can you help me? Can we do like some one-on-one -on -one stuff, right? Like there's so many different ways to, to ask, right? Um, one is find a, find a mentor, find a mentor or a coach that because it's always good to get someone else's perspective and to shine some light on your blind spots, right? I talked about blind spots last week. So find a mentor, right? Like find someone that's doing what you want to do and ask if you can like follow them around or if they can like, if you can hang out with them for one day a week or like whatever it is, right? And just be like, I want, I want to learn. Right, find a coach. Um, coaches are awesome. There's coaching industry is one of the biggest growing industries out there right now. Uh, so it's really important, right? Find someone that can look at your situation from an outside perspective where they have no emotional attachment and that their only attachment is to your success. Hey, Jeff, right? So find someone that's gonna just give you perspective you've never seen or thought of before and help them guide you right um the biggest another thing too like if you're not willing or ready to ask like outside people for help start reading i mean there's like there's books on everything or like youtube like youtube has like a tutorial for everything right like i built i built my own website off of youtube when i wanted to build my website i just went on youtube and like I literally I typed in a WordPress tutorial and it literally took me step by step on how to build a website. 
And then I even got paid to build someone else's website because they saw mine and they're like, hey, can you do that for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. Give me a few hundred dollars or whatever, right? So, I mean, YouTube is a great resource. They give you, like, they hold your hand pretty much, right? There's books that will hold your hand. There's mentors out there wanting, there's people that want to help, right? Hey, Carly. Well, there's people that want to help and they don't want anything in return. Their, their thing in life is helping people, right? I mean, that's a big thing for me is like I get messages quite often uh, from people that are like, hey, like, thanks for that video. Thanks for this and that and like for this. And, and like, I'm not like financially, I'm not really getting anything out of it. I've had people that bought my book and were like, hey, this really helped me and da, da, da. So like I've, I've made money off that and like I'm, I've made money from coaching people one-on-one -on -one and even some group stuff. But like for the most part, I do a lot of this stuff for free and I'm okay with that because I'm helping, right? So people want to help find those people, reach out to them. If it's outside of your comfort zone, that's okay. It's time to um, expand your contacts, expand your horizons and because we're never – you're gonna know everything, right? There's only so many books we can read. There's only so much YouTube videos we can read. Experience is king. It's doing, right? At least to me, doing is learning. Once, when somebody shows me how to do something, just even if it's just once, I can usually then go about doing it myself. And I'm right. Like it'll take some practice and stuff, but yeah. Once someone shows me how to do something, it it sticks really well. So. That's kind of all I had for today. Um, I'm not sure what part six will be, but it'll probably be next Tuesday around this time as well. Um, yeah, so share this with anyone that you think needs help, right? And that maybe they have difficulties in asking people for help. So it's not a sign of weakness. Only, only the strong can ask for help, right? Only the strong can be vulnerable. So just remember that. It doesn't mean that you're not smart enough or you're not good enough or whatever enough it means that you're strong enough to be willing to say i help me and that's that's real strength so thank you for watching um i'll see you guys next week and have a good day thank you